with Wicked coming out in cinemas this week, I thought I'd look at where The Wizard of Oz can be found at theme parks around the world. With a the theme park rights to different Oz based movies being owned by different companies, The Wizard of Oz could be found at different theme parks around the world. So let's explore where The Wizard of Oz could be found at theme parks around the world. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too! When designing the great movie ride for Disney MGM Studios, The Wizard of Oz was set to play a large role in the attraction's finale. Before the Oz scene that came to be, a cyclone would have taken guests from the set of Casablanca to Munchkinland. Following the encounter with the Wicked Witch of the West, guests would have come face to face with the Wizard of Oz, before the man behind the curtain would have been revealed to be either the gangster or the cowboy hijackers, depending on which ride vehicle was chosen. However, MGM demanded Disney only use three minutes of dialogue from the 1939 movie The Wizard of Oz, so the Oz references were reduced. When the great movie ride opened on May 1st, 1989, at Disney MGM Studios, The Wizard of Oz could be found before guests even boarded the ride vehicle. In the queue for the attraction, guests were passed by the ruby slippers worn by Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz. In the penultimate scene of the attraction, guests would find themselves in Munchkinland, passing by Dorothy's house as the Munchkin sang Ding Dong the Wicked Witch is Dead. Suddenly, in a plume of smoke, the Wicked Witch of the West would appear and demand to know who killed her sister, before threatening the tour guide and her dog too. The Wicked Witch animatronic was the most advanced animatronic built at the time, making it the most lifelike animatronic in the whole attraction. The Munchkins would then reappear and tell us to follow the yellow brick road, with us passing a scene where Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man and the Lion are looking at the Emerald City. The Great Movie Ride closed on August 13th, 2017, meaning the last opening day attraction at the park had closed and the last permanent Wizard of Oz attraction in America had also closed. As part of Disneyland Paris's first expansion, Le Pays de Contes de Fays opened on April 3rd, 1994. Up until 2024, the final scene of the boat ride featured the Emerald City with Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man and the Lion. Rather than being based on the MGM movie, the scene was inspired by the 1985 Disney film Return to Oz, which Disney owned the theme park rights to. The background music used for the scene uses this music from the Main Street Electrical Parade, as, to promote the film in 1985, two floats were added to the parade to promote Return to Oz. The floats were only used that year and unfortunately caught on fire as it contained a lot of mirrors and were left out in the sun. The finale scene of Le Pays de Contes de Fays was replaced in 2024 from the less popular Return to Oz to a more known movie Up. We leave Disney now and head to Universal Studios Japan which opened the Land of Oz in July 2006. Universal Studios owned the right to the Wizard of Oz prequel Wicked using those rights to create Oz with the Yellow Brick Road, Emerald City and Carousel. The main attraction in this area of the park was Wicked, a one-act version of the 2003 musical condensed to a 30-minute stage show, featuring most of the storyline from Act 1 but without several key characters like Fierro, Madame Morabelle and Nessa Rose. The Land of Oz and Universal Studios Japan closed in February 2011 but Universal Studios still own the rights to Wicked. Another Land of Oz exists in South Carolina, which originally opened between 1970 and 1980, taking guests on a walkthrough tour through the Wizard of Oz story. After closing in 1980 due to a lack of popularity, the park has reopened every September since the 1990s for Autumn of Oz, with profits from the attraction being reinvested back into the park's maintenance and adding new attractions. This leads us to the future of Oz at the theme parks. As mentioned, Universal still own the rights to Wicked, so to market the new movie, both Universal Studios Orlando and Hollywood have opened Wicked the Experience, an immersive shopping experience where guests can see props from the film and recreations of the set. 
This could potentially be a test to see the popularity of Wicked, testing the waters for Universal to bring Wicked to the American parks. Over in Australia, at Warner Brothers Movie World, a new Wizard of Oz precinct is set to open in 2024, featuring two Wizard of Oz themed roller coasters, Kansas Twister, a racing boomerang coaster, and Flight of the Wicked Witch, a suspended family coaster. With Warner Brothers currently owning the rights to the 1939 movie The Wizard of Oz, Universal owning the rights to Wicked, Disney owning the rights to Return to Oz and Oz the Great and Powerful, and the actual book rights being in the public domain, there is an opportunity for all the major theme parks to return to Oz and build attractions based on Oz. Depending on the success of a movie adaptation of Wicked, we could see a Wicked inspired attraction added to the Universal Parks. Until then, the only permanent Oz themed attractions left in the world will soon be found in Movie World in Australia. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you want to see next on the History Channel.